all right guys next video will open the cookie policy anyway if you are watching this video without watching our uh, previous videos about user agreement terms of service privacy policy please watch them come back to this video after that uh, if you are new to the channel just go down subscribe to the channel like this video share everything and keep uh, this keep the this channel up because alexa master community is huge but it's uh, i can't uh, the personal thing i want to advertise inside alexa master and get all members to this uh, channel but it's really difficult so uh, i want your help to promote the youtube channel uh, so just subscribe like even you don't like then you can you have rights to dislike there's a button but after disliking just write down uh, on the comment about why you disliked us if you hate me just write down uh, but i'm not the i'm not the one who controls everything if you have watched previous videos you know uh, the concept of the structure how the company works so i'm the developer i spend my time in front of the computer by doing coding until i get blind everywhere i sleep inside an array uh, work with complicated algorithms anyway let's start the cookie policy in alexa master if you are tired just also go to my chopstick drama youtube channel and watch some videos uh, subscribe to the channel the, i'm not making money from that channel so if you like the channel just motivate me anyway number one in the cookie policy is introduction first uh, it's explaining about the cookie let's read a cookie is a small file placed onto your device that enables alexa master features and functionality for example, cookies enable us to identify your device, secure your access to Alexa Master and our sites generally, and even help us know if someone attempts to access your account from a different device. Cookies also enable you to easily find friends on Alexa Master and help us serve relevant ads, profiles, bookmarks to you. Okay, the technically I can explain this process, but I don't think you will understand everything if you are not technical. Uh, if you are not technical, uh, please listen, uh, but uh, because it's important you have to be educated about this. Uh, it's my responsibility is to teach you. I will try my best. Uh, once you open the website, we don't know who you are because the server is located in somewhere you you are coming from another place uh, the way we identify we the way we are communicating is uh, ip to ip tcp ip or something you can call the the protocol uh, we have the user protocol uh, Mainly when you open our website through a web browser, we use hypertext transfer protocol, which is known as, known, known as HTTP. Uh, there's a S after HTTP, that means secured. So we use HTTP as here you can see connection is secure. So uh, you, you, the visitor, visit the website through a secured connection, but we don't know who you are, why you are coming here, whether you are bad or good, why you are coming here, do you want to hack our community, do you want to uh, 
promote adults only website to our community right. who knows that so we, we don't know that then we need to identify you so i to identify who you are uh, everything we put this small file into your web browser it's a text file and an encrypted text file uh, it's like a token to access Alexa Master. Uh, it's a unique token. When you access using that token to the Alexa Master, then uh, technically uh, your data, which are in the database, will be connected with you. So uh, there's another thing I have to talk about server sessions, but uh, I'm not spending technical stuff uh, to explain technical stuff on this video. So. I will say the small cookie, the text file will be in your browser. Anytime when you want to remove this text file, you can just clean cookies from your browser. Now I use, what is this browser? It's Google Chrome. The under settings here. Uh, you had to find, I think advanced privacy and security here clear browsing data there's an option browsing history cookies and other site data you, here you can clean out all data uh, using uh, this method so uh, the cookie the small file that we put into your browser uh, will be erased then I recommend you to do this uh, if you cancel your user account from Alexa Master, uh, then when, once you have closed your user agreement with Alexa Master, then you have to clean your uh, browser also. Uh, then the next one, number two, when do we place cookies? We use cookies on our sites, such as www.alexamaster.net or www.alexamaster.com and mobile applications but anyway mobile applications I don't think it is uh, but to educate to tell you this overall process we uh, put that mobile applications there but I think there's no cookie policy uh, related to mobile apps by the way uh, but there's an agreement when you are, uh, download and install mobile app then you have to follow that agreement uh, mainly related to this uh, use agreement there's no big difference between mobile app version and web version uh, any browser visiting these sites will receive any browser visiting these webs these websites will receive cookies from us we also place a place cookies in your browser when you visit non alexa master sites that host our iframes for example alexa master widget that shows total good voting website javascript or ad banners okay for example uh, if you use uh, alexa master widget or something uh, another ad banner or something from us uh, and when you post that in another website anyway uh, when the visitor visit that website we put the cookie collect then you have to uh, inform this uh, into your visitors by the way uh, at this moment I can uh, guarantee we uh, I keep I, I don't like cookies I like to eat cookies but I don't like like this uh, internet cookies so uh, I keep I use only for important stuff I use cookies only for important tasks otherwise I don't use uh, there's no cookie for Alexa master widget so you can uh, at this time today is 2018 uh, Friday 11 24 p.m. here uh, oh, sorry what I'm talking to 2020 today is 2020 the this uh, update uh, uh, 2018 is uh, the update of the policy 
the date is uh, here uh, Friday, February 28, 2020. So in this date, uh, we don't have any cookie connected with uh, Alexa Master widgets or ad banners or anything. Just only in the uh, you mobile apps and uh, web based uh, th these websites only. Anyway, the third one, what types of cookies do we use? We use two types, persistent cookies and session cookies. A persistent, persistent cookie helps us recognize you as an existing user. So it's easy to return to Alexa Master or interact with our services without signing in again. Again, we don't, uh, even it is there because uh, I use I don't use this cookie with every member at this time. Uh, I plan to because at that time when uh, they up, when they update uh, the cookie policy at that time I had 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 a plan to work with this uh, automatic sign in system, uh, but. Until this point, I didn't add that considering security and some issues, but maybe in, uh, with, in next versions, I will uh, update this. Anyway, you must, be in, you must uh, learn, learn about this uh, two type of cookies. Uh, anyway, after you sign in, a persistent cookie stays in your browser and will be read by when will be read by Alexa Master when you return to one of our sites or partner sites that use our services. Uh, session cookies only last for, for as long as the session. Usually the current visit to a website or a browser. We have session cookies. Uh, somehow uh, we have only session cookies with some areas but anyway we can use uh, uh, persistent cookies in the future I guess so I mean, I'm uh, I will update uh, I will upload another video and update you if something happened with at this moment anyway you have to follow the the this uh, policy number four controlling cookies most browsers allow you to control cookies through their settings preferences. However, I showed you how to claim cookies using Google Chrome. Uh, you can check on Google, Google search or Yahoo anywhere uh, f uh, to learn how to remove cookies from your browser. Uh, in here, I will uh, explain, I will use Google Chrome. I don't have more browsers here. so. Uh, because uh, this is not my workstation. Uh, however, if you limit the ability of website to set cookies, you may worsen your overall user experience since it will no longer be personalized to you. It may also stop you from saving customized settings like login information. This is important. If you control cookies, uh, when you use uh, you, when you disable cookies from our domain, uh, it will be really difficult uh, to unidentify you. It will be uh, really, really, it's a problem for moderators also. Then uh, they check. Uh, anyway, if you are a freelancer, make sure you have enabled your cookies. Otherwise, it will be a big problem for your user experience uh, without cookies uh, they can't the team members they can't check you or they can check you some activities but not some activities so be careful with cookies really careful so don't disable cookies in your browser fifth one how to remove cookies safely once you have this cancelled your user account here uh, as I told you before, you can remove cookies. 
uh, follow, following the way when you use Chrome. Otherwise, try the ways in other uh, browsers. Uh, for example, here, if you are a vis if you are a visitor, you can opt out of our cookies by pressing Control Shift Delete key combination in your keyboard. Mostly web browsers use this key combination to uh, clean up uh, cookies. You can try that in your keyboard. Or if you use a mobile device, you can go to settings and clear cookies from our services. We have 24 to 7 technical support that help you regard, uh, regarding anything related to our services. Our contact details are shown here. You can go there do we spy you no we do not use our cookies to spy you as we mentioned above we use cookies to improve our quality of the service somehow third-party services may play with your privacy and we recommend you to clean your browser cookies cache frequently Somehow, third-party services may play with your privacy, and we recommend you to clean your browser cookies cache frequently. This is about uh, we use we use uh, uh, Google Analytics GA and Google Tag Manager GTM, also Cloudflare. Uh, these are the services we use, I remember. Uh, these guys can put a cookie uh, inside your computer. Let me check. Uh, I, sh I must check uh, what they have put inside the, uh, to my computer. So here I, I, I become the user and I'm going to check cookies that uh, not here how to check cookies really you see even I am the uh, programmer I'm a developer I don't know how to find cookies uh, site settings cookies and site data See all cookies and data. We'll search for alexamaster.com.net for cookies. Mm. Yeah, PHP session ID. This is about a session cookie. It's a session cookie. So you can find the session uh, here. Mostly hackers, they use this uh, PHP session ID to uh, compromise the security. Uh, I have seen that. And also this is uh, Cloudflare. Name and content is here. Uh, it, this is PHP session. GA, this is Google Analytics. GID, another Google ID. Uh, these are third party cookies, but at this point, Alexa Master haven't added a cookie. This is why I told you uh, I don't like cookies, but some services also we use sometimes cookies, um, but mainly Alexa Master system don't uh, it's me because developer if developer doesn't like cookies then you won't get cookies so this is the end of uh, cookie policy um, the uh, yeah I think the 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 policy will be updated again in this year I guess so I, um, I can't guarantee about that but uh, because uh, now it's after two years there will be updates in the policy, uh, especially with some uh, changes that Google did with their website. Google is going to change. 
uh, there some uh, rules especially cookie policy will be uh, I can't tell you at this time so please keep in touch uh, visit this uh, section time to time you can easily check uh, Alexa master uh, user agreement here legal home legal blog short URLs here the legal when you click here it will redirect to user agreement here so then just come to cookie policy data policy here write the I have explained everything on cookie policy it's not a big uh, document very simple try to keep it simple I like to keep it simple uh, here then again if you are new to this video just uh, if you are if, if you haven't read Alexa master use agreement terms of service privacy policy these stuff please please do it right now don't forget because uh, if you don't have if you haven't read this uh, uh, these documents I cannot uh, help you once uh, you get blocked your account then how can I help you understand I hope you can understand the situation uh, another thing I think I think uh, people uh, complain uh, mostly uh, website like this uh, Alexa master is a community but uh, they don't know really more about the Alexa master so if they don't know more about Alexa master they think Alexa master is a kind of scam website in the internet kind of scam website because uh, I checked uh, some online forums I saw a lot of complaints about websites then some of them I I visited them uh, personally and checked uh, there are many problems even they are not answering for support tickets no customer care only one developer uh, the developer is also not uh, working in the website so uh, the site is dead the, the once uh, somebody found that kind of uh, a dead website they go there request for a payout request for submit their website then no results then post something like scam 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 so people who do the same they visit Alexa master don't read the privacy policy use agreement anything just do the same put the website inside the system wait for the traffic uh, site is blocked so complaining say it's a scam 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 just visit the Alexa master request a payout get re refuse the payout screaming and crying like oh they are scamming 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 be first complain about this you have to make sure you whether you have read read this uh, five documents not too much just five documents I know it's taken a long time but read it carefully if you have read this if you haven't violated this police these policies or terms of service anything you can get everything there the whole service because of, um, nobody is stopping you I have proofs I can if there's a technical issue in the system uh, then you can talk to me directly but if uh, if it is coming from use agreement this legal issue oh, I can't help you so wait for the next video I will explain more about data policy then the series is done uh, thanks for being with us uh, I highly appreciate about your work with the community I will update the best I can do to make the community stronger okay see you with next video